Hey there Capricorn, uh, Capricorn and Capricorn Cross Watchers. I'm Dharma here to do a story time, Zodiac story time for you. It's tarot, it's channeling, it's Lenormand, intuition, all of that. It's for the sign of Capricorn and Capricorn Cross Watchers. Well, I was gonna wait, but look, the Nine of Cups just fell out. Um, charge, baby. Let's do this. I mean, that is a knight right there with some conviction. Even look at the crow, right? You know how when like a horse does that thing where they get up on their hind legs and they neigh hee hee? The, well, that's, if a crow could do that, that's what they're doing. <laughs> Charge. Charge forward. I'm ready. Let's do this. Knight of Cups. Death. Wow, let's do this. Death. <laughs> it's not funny. Death doesn't always mean the end, right? But it definitely means a change. I want to talk about the vultures. The vultures of the past. I know where this is headed. Six of Swords. Two of Cups. I know exactly where this is headed. Bring it on down to Soulmate Vale. <laughs> Look at that Two of Cups. Isn't that beautiful? I heard okay. If that's what they want. You know you want it. This is a blurred line. I think there's two people here who have different ideas of what this could be. Two of Pentacles. See, two ideas of how a relationship should be, and one person's taking charge, and the other person's standing like under their wing. Like, are you sure? I mean, the Devil, Seven of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. There's also an indication here of somebody like maybe even trying to run from a relationship. Shit. Like run away from it. And they wound up getting caught. Um, not caught, but caught, you know, like they were going to fly away and they were caught, landed with somebody else or there's some kind of like some kind of halt and then someone else steps in because you have a seven of swords moment but it's supposed to happen like that it's a wheel of fortune look you've got the tower and the ace and the ace of pentacles the mice Illness, fatigue, stress, anxiety, wor um, worry. Or she's going to find out. She's going to find out. Yeah. Oh, the crow and the mortar and pestle and the freaking full moon queen. Hell yeah, she's going to find out. She probably already knows. All she needs to do is ask a familiar and she will absolutely find out. <laughs> wow. So there may have been some kind of offer or rush to um, a Scorpio. But, because I say that because the death card is here, but we have Scorpio and Capricorn. Communication. The Magnus and the Sky. The 
It's like somebody shows up out of nowhere that you are normally really attracted to, but because there's been this offer already made, Knight of Cups, with somebody who is extremely intuitive, a full moon goddess, this isn't even a full moon queen. She's not even the high priestess. She's the queen of the full moon, specifically. And because that offer was already made, this one was off the table, and now they again return because they're a magnet. Wheel of Fortune twice. And the man. Let's get a fairy on it. A fairy or two. Brian Froud's Fairy's Oracle. So you have this offer. Like, I just kind of want to, because I'm trying to wrap my head around it. You have this offer, you gave it, you wanted to. This person was a full moon queen, whatever. And it changed everything because you had to leave behind a connection that you didn't want to leave behind because of this new connection. And then here they are again, they show up. See, Ace of Cups. You're definitely being showered with love, that's for sure. Spiritual guidance. You, I, there was probably a dream that was had, and then tidying up the, the feline. It's like you have to come back and tell somebody that, um, on second thought, I want my past. Yeah. You might even have someone that wants your full moon queen. And if you're the full moon queen, you're feeling it, right? And you've got two people that want you because there's something here where two people are, magne are, are in a relationship already. They're a union. And then enter someone else And we have a sudden surprise ending. I'm, heard, I'm sorry it has to be this way. I can't do it the way you want to do it. I mean, I know what a sling blade is, but it's supposed to be a, a reckoning. Freedom. I can't do it your way. I don't want to be locked down like that. I don't want to be... I don't want to do it your way. The fuck? I don't want to do it your way, bye. And then they run off with somebody else. It might not even be someone else, you know what I'm saying? There might not be three people. But there's definitely someone that we're wildly attracted to, like a magnet. And they want something that they want something you don't want. <laughs> Sling blade. Mm-hmm. Right to it. Wow. Let's extend this. So I'm going to do an extended, and I want to see exactly what this tower moment is, why suddenly everything is changing with this death card. And then you have this here where there's two indications that there might be a little bit of competition. And then you've got Wheel of Fortune moments, and you have something that's just deteriorating on its own. Uh, this is crazy. 
If you're interested in following along, the link for the Vimeo Extended is in the box below. I'm in Dharma Instagram is dharmajane.8. Please do like, subscribe, and share, and check us out for your daily lives. Until next time, bye.